Hi and welcome to the first episode of FM 2024 here on Vanilla FM. We are trying out the beta, so I've already created my character and obviously we're going to start with Hereford and we're going to play through this beta and I'm going to be keen to see the little changes that they've implemented and uh, obviously any bugs that might be present. So the, as soon as we start a new save, we get this little news item that I've taken the hot seat. Um, then, still as normal, you get presented with your supporter profile. Uh, in this case, we have a pretty good uh, range of favorable supporters, so not many fair weather or casual supporters, which looks good. Um, target for this year is to win the promotion. Actually, no, the, the supporters want to win the promotion. We'll look at the club vision in a minute. But uh, yeah, so we need to win the promotion. That's what the fans are uh, expecting. As far as the board, we want to reach the playoffs. And eventually just remain in the Vanarama National. We're going to negotiate, see if there's anything we can remove. Uh, let's try and remove these, see what happens. Do, do, do suggest no okay confirm next right what budget do we want I always max this out I'm not sure if it's good or not to do this but I am going to max this out just to give us some wiggle room in terms of the wage budget so I'm promising to reach the playoffs reach the fourth round of the FA Trophy and the first round of the FA Cup, which is probably a little bit unrealistic, but it does mean we get slightly more wiggle room in our budget. Uh, da -da -da. Tactical direction. Now, I'm gonna not do this one in this episode because I think that one needs a lot of in focus, um, focus. So, I'm gonna leave that for a moment. And I'm just going to set this to normal, it's the only option apparently. Alright, oh, it turns out I must respond. Okay, so I'll leave that for a separate episode. And I'm going to look just through these tabs and we'll call it an episode. So, um, let's see if there's anything else. So here's one of our players. Doesn't look much different from previous years. Mm -hmm. and we have some options to send still on um, leadership courses. I'm not going to do contracts today because we will do that once I start doing contracts for the save. Aha, so we now have this new feature uh, where we offer a player on, on transfers or loans or whatever. We can hire an intermediary or offer via transfer room. So that's a new feature that we can use and I'll be exploring that um, once I decide which players I want to uh, get rid of. Okay. Training is still looking the same. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, it looks the same to me. Okay. Ah, oh, this is new. This wasn't down here before as far as I'm aware. Maybe it was, and I never noticed it, but that looks new to me. Da -da -da, no progress yet. Obviously, we can't really see this. But as far as I can see, there's nothing really new here. Coaching report still exists. Performance. That's for later on in a year. That looks all fine. That, nothing new that I can see other than that. For the squad planner, obviously we'll go, uh, we'll have to choose some tactics before we can really explore this. Dynamic screen. Uh, just a little bit of a cosmetic change, but nothing much. Yeah, nothing much. Social groups still here. The pictures are slightly smaller this year, which is fine. 
Happiness screen code conduct we haven't done yet. I'll do the meeting afterwards. Tactics we're gonna have to look at separately. The data hub won't be available to us until we get some data analysts. I'm gonna have to hire some new um new stuff and that's something I could do this episode actually I'll come back to this training still looks fairly the same obviously there will be new coaches for set pieces so we'll be looking at that as well um, at the moment it's just me doing everything and Sean and doing a little bit of um, coaching for goalkeepers so obviously we need to hire in some new staff and I'll do that um, Surely, here I like to set this to double intensity, so that's one of the changes you probably never seen me doing, but I do every 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 save. I change that to double intensity. Mentoring. Let's get some groups going. Match prep. This is going to be a little bit different, I think, and I think largely to start with, I'm going to leave this to my coaches to do. Um, yeah. Units were there before, schedules, I never really used schedules, I'm not sure if, you know, they never really played around with it much. Cool. Medical center, probably still all the same. Yeah. Here's our ch schedule for the, for the year competitions, we're going to be taking part in those three, nothing changes there. We're going to spend a lot of time here once I start looking at uh, new players. Our scouting budget is 20k. Uh, yeah, so that could maybe do a little bit better with that. Okay. Transfers, we haven't done any yet. We don't have any clauses. Oh, we have one clause. Where is he now? Hmm. Okay, so if he gets sold from Halifax, so we get some money. Club info. Some of these names have changed for Hereford, so a lot of people disappeared from here, which is fine. I am probably going to ask for better facilities, and I'll, I'll do that now. So, Club Vision, the first thing I'm going to do is let's, oh, let's just do these three, see what happens. This is still a beta, so some of these graphics might change as the year goes on, like the boxiness of the the boxes and the, the you know, the f how this box is presented might change. There you go, so I put three requests in for towards the board. Uh, and what else can we see in this? Oh, still the same, still the same screens as before. Finance wise, I can't remember if there weren't any changes to this. I don't think so. Still looks the same to me. Development sensor, we will have to hire someone to manage this. We have one player in the under 18s at the moment. Um, and we'll hire some staff as well to complete this. We have one player on loan at Hereford. We'll look at him as well. And then we can report bugs. One thing that I like to do from the onset is to look at responsibilities. And let's go through them. So, um, staff. I like to be in control of most things, uh, except this, so I can delegate that one. But hiring staff and so on, I like to be in control of, uh, as well as renewing contracts. There we go. Confirm. Did I have to do confirm on this one? No. Uh, advice. I'll, I'll look at advice later because, um, yeah, it depends on who I get um, in the hiring process. Uh, that will can't change any of that, so that's fine. I like to be the one in control of all of these things, so that's good. Okay. Oh, that's changed. So that used to be just the normal offer. Okay. 
media. I will probably delegate all of this at some point. Actually, in fact, I probably delegate it now. Yeah, let's delegate it all now. I don't like doing trans um, medias. Training, I will delegate general training, uh, but I will keep charge of uh, individual training. Same thing for Android teens. I like doing that myself. Tactics, delegate that one. Okay. Anyone? No. Match. Delegate. Delegate. Confirm. And set pieces. Handles team set pieces. Oh, I'm going to delegate that. And I think that's it. Okay, and you see, because I've taken control of individual training, it's given me the under 18 tab now as well. So I can look at all these things in more detail whenever my, it will obviously only be interesting when, when my uh, under 18s get more uh, players later in the year. Now, the only thing I'm going to do this episode, I'll have to go away and look at tactics and all that separately, but this episode we're going to try and find some stuff for our club. So we're going to start with a youth development uh, person. I'm going to leave coaching till later on. Um, another episode. Uh, we're going to try and find a head performance analyst, uh, ta -ta -ta -ta, chief scout, two scouts, head physio. Okay, right. So, what I normally do, uh, ta -ta, interest in staff, yeah. Oh, I want to include Hereford staff as well in this, and there's a reason for that. And I want to pick, uh, pick a condition first. So I want it to be uh, staff role is at least partially a head youth. And then we're going to go here and select head youth. And find someone who's available. Here's Mark Pike. So we're going to offer him a contract to see if he wants to come work for us. So I'm going to offer him a little bit less. Uh, I think all of our contracts are going to have to be part time for now because we're not a professional club. There we go. So we have put in an offer for head youth. Now we need a head performance analyst. So we'll do the same thing. There's a little bit of a bug there. I can't go forward. Should be able to. Head performance analyst. And we're going to go here and do the same. So it's coaching roles. Wait. Ah, there it is. Not the best in the world, but it'll do. And we're going to go with head performance analyst to reduce that a little bit. Suggest. Director of football, we're going to leave that as well. A chief scout and two scouts. So we'll change that to scout. And change the attributes to scout. Oh, oh I can't do that. No. Oh. Interesting, okay, but I know what the attributes are. Let's go. Those are the two important ones anyway. Okay. Approach as a scout. Approach. Can we go Chief Scout for you? Job. Oh. Oh, there you go. Shift count. 
And then I need one more. Approach. Okay, we've got three scouts. Well, we will have three scouts if they accept. And we need one head physio. So search. Medical physio. And we're going to go down here. Head physio. It's just physiotherapy. And then... Got two to choose from Amy Rogers and Cal Walters. Look very similar. Let's go for Amy Rogers, why not? Okay, approach. And the youth also needed some staff. So if you go to staff and youth, we're going to need to hire an assistant manager. And I'll leave the coaches uh, uh, again. I'll leave the coaches until some because basically what I want to do is hire first of all who I want to hire, and then I need to look at training and see what gaps there are. Uh, and the same thing for the director of, the, of football. I need to look what gaps there are because um, I us usually use the director of football either as a motivator or as a, as a tactical expert. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna leave that until. I've got the rest of the squad, uh, the rest of the staff in. So here we get, we're just looking for an assistant manager, and it's going to be for the youth team. So I have Lawrence or Richie. I think I'm going to go with. Lauren. Hmm. I'm having two minds about this one. Let's go, Lawrence. He knows the he knows the role a bit better. So there we go. I don't think I needed anything else for the youth. No, that's it. Just coaches next. Right, so I'm going to leave it there because uh, I need to look at this tactical stuff and then I'll come back and do an episode on that. And um, yeah, so I'll catch up with you then. Thanks so much for watching till the end. Take care. Bye-bye.